What's up, everybody? Tonight, we're talking about Cottage Garden, you Rosenberg. You know, you love it. <clears throat> if you like Tetris, if you like Patchwork, if you like his games, this is a good one. So, I uh, played this with my buddy. What up? Parker Hudson. And so, in the game, you're making gardens. And you're using your Tetris pieces, as I like to call them. They're all flowers, as you can see. Awesome little flowers that are double-sided. Many different shapes, many different colors. And you have flower beds. So these flower beds have different pots. They have uh, these orange flower pots, and then they have these plant covers that are kind of a bluish white color. The orange pots are worth one point, and the blue are worth two. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to fill in all the empty spaces with flowers, right? And once you get it all filled in, all spaces have to be filled, then you can score those, you score this tile. Now you can also get additional, uh, there's some pieces in the game that have the little blue piece there on them, and you have some pieces that actually have flower pots on them as well. So you can uh, get more points onto your flower bed to score. There's also little single one-offs. This is where I think the game differs a lot from Patchwork, whereas Patchwork is very unforgiving. Uh, cottage gardening is very forgiving. If you have a space that's just empty, you can grab this and or, you know, this is the best part of the whole game. That's right, those are kitty tokens. Kitties aren't worth any points, but you start the game with two and you get some more during the game. I'll explain that in a second. And then they can also fill in spots at any time to fill out a board. So on your turn, the game's gonna start, you're gonna have this die, this is the gardener die, and it counts the rounds for you. And on where it's at placed, you get to choose in that row from that space. So let's say if this was me, I would take that, i place it on my board, boom, and then this would go here. Now, Parker, Parker Hudson, Parker's turn would have these four to choose from. And it goes around the board, everybody choosing out of the four until they get here. And then, then when it goes there, it goes across instead. Uh, these are eventually going to get uh, empty out. You're going to get to put more in there once there's one or fewer in the row. Uh, that's based off this, the extra pieces around the outside. So these will be going in order to fill back into the spaces. When you finish a board, everything goes behind the wheelbarrow. This is the coolest, one of the cool parts too. The wheelbarrow full of flower pots. How cool is that? Uh, the only thing that is a little, I don't wanna say it's wonky, but it's gonna take a little getting used to, and the rule book's not super clear, is the way that you score in the game. So the orange pots are represented by the orange cubes and the blue plant covers by the blue. And so you have this little track here that you go up and you can tell you have three different spaces. So if you score, like let's say this was a six and two, six orange, two blue, I'd go six and two. Now that seems pretty straightforward the first time. The next time I score, let's say I score four orange and three blue and three points worth of blue. So I can either bring another orange out for three or whatever I said, uh, four. Oh, and then I can either, either go here or I can't pass that, I have to go here, all right? Or I could choose to keep that back and go four here, one, two, three, four, and then one, two here. But you have to you have to pick or choose. Uh, this is where it gets funky right here. You'll see that it goes up to 15 and 14, and then it jumps to 20 for both. So if you are, say, on 12, and let's say you're on, you have a die on 12 and 12, and you score six orange, you have to either decide, do I want to bring out a new cube for six points and get the full allotment, or do I wanna go one, two, three, four and lose those two other spaces that you move the orange? So it has that cool, yeah, it's kinda of wonky, it takes a little getting used to, but the decision once you figure that out, it, it smooths out for you, it's pretty good. Uh, the only other thing that you need to know to play the game is that when you get to the sixth round, anything, uh, there's a little spot here, whatever, player count you're playing, when you round, come back around, you're gonna swap over and go to the next round. When you go to six, if you don't have more than two tiles on a flower bed, it's discarded. And then you're trying to fill out your last flower bed. Let's say this had some stuff on it, right? Let's say this had a bunch of other stuff on it. Um, and you would, every turn that you need to finish this out, you subtract two points. So if you need to take another turn, you're like, okay, two points, and then I'm gonna put, you know, you take some more stuff. And when you fill it, finish it out, there you go. All right, so, 
Parker, me and Parker played. Parker, who won? You, by two, by three points? By three points. Sorry, bro. It was a close game. I had 66 and you had 63. Now, Parker took a much different strategy. Parker was all about these guys. I bet he had four turns in a row. He didn't take any pieces off the board and he just went for the pots, didn't you? Yep. You like getting those points off those things, didn't you? Yeah. And so me, I was trying to be super efficient with my player board and get, you know, all kinds of perfect pieces. And I beat him by three points the first time we ever played. So, um, Parker, did you like it? Do you think you like this one or Patchwork better? Patchwork. You still like Patchwork better? You know, I like this one because I think it's a little more forgiving and it'll be easier to play with anybody. Um, I agree, though, Parker. I think Patchwork's probably a little bit better of a game. But this one is still really, really good. And I like it. I like it a lot. So, guys, this is Cottage Garden. Brand new by you. It's going to be hard to get. So, I know that Fun Again Games has some. I think Board Game Bliss has some. So, if you if it sounds like something you want, check it out. Well, <laughs> Goofball. <laughs>